Hello, dears, and welcome to Al Husseini Virtual Lab Pathology Talks, Tips and Practical Tips. What I'm going to be sharing with you today is a nice and brief tip of mantle cell lymphoma involving the stomach. So this is a case of a 52-year-old male patient who is a known case of mantle cell lymphoma. He started to complain of abdominal pain for which he underwent upper and lower endoscopy and obtained gastric biopsy. And as you can see here from the low power magnification, several fragments of gastric mucosa, one of which showed this uh, uh, ga uh, lymphoid aggregate. And I have to say, because the involvement was not diffuse, and because of the mark, the crushing artifact, it might not be in a way suspicious, especially for a, a junior pathologist. But actually, the trick is here. When you encounter marked crushing artifact, in what appears to be a lymphoid aggregate, you have to be suspicious whether the patient is a known case of lymphoma or otherwise. And again, on higher power magnification, you cannot really see the details of the lymphoid cells, but what you can see is the crushing. And this might be tempting for sometimes for especially junior pathologists just to ignore it because it's a crushing artifact. We know that lymphoid follicles are common in the stomach, but always be careful with the crushing artifact in lymphoid follicles, especially in cases that are known to be lymphoma. And this was the CD20 strong diffuse positivity on high power magnification, diffusely strongly positive in the uh, uh, in the article, this is the crushing area. It's exactly the same area that I just showed you the H and E uh, four, and this is the CD three where we have only scattered CD three positive reactive T lymphocytes, and this is the cyclin D one again showing the exact same distribution of the positivity and on high power magnification, cyclin D one was positive in the CD twenty positive tumor cells. Of course. Uh, I just worked up the case with these three immunohistochemical markers because the case is already a known case of mantle cell lymphoma. Otherwise, I would have worked it up for with more details if the patient is not a known case of lymphoma. So the final diagnosis in this case was involvement by the patient's known mantle cell lymphoma. Remember that the key tip from today's case is that a crushing artifact in lymphoid aggregates anywhere in the bone marrow in the stomach, you have always to be suspicious, especially so if the patient is a known case of lymphoma, and then you can apply a selective panel of immunohistochemical stain that would really point towards the diagnosis without going into extensive immunohistochemical stain. Remember that mantle cell lymphoma has a propensity to involve the uh, GI tract. We know usually the colon and usually in the form of polyps, but sometimes also the stomach. So keep this in mind. I hope you find this tip useful in your daily practice. Thank you.